Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial about highlighting new feature and existing analysis tools that are available in Volvicon version 4.2. For those of you who are not familiar with Volvicon, it is an application for three dimensional visualization and image analysis. It provides you a set of tools that you can analyze the surface as well as the volumetric data. So the purpose of this video is to highlight the features. I'm gonna introduce a little bit about the interface of Volvicon and then I will load the data. I will explain the slice module and the features that are available in slice module, volume module, surface module. I will also explain uh, the interactive transformation tool for surface and volume data. I will draw some markup and I will have some operations that you can perform with markup. I will perform the volume segmentation, the construction of surface model out of this volume matrix data, saving the model in this version from 4.2. Uh, you can save the whole project, everything that you are working with, uh, a number of volumes, a number of surfaces and markups, everything you can save as a project and then you can reload it back later. Then in the end, I will save STL segmented meshes. So let's get started. This is the default interface of Volvicon. You have this tree structure for each item, slice, volume, surface, and markup. Markup will have different measurement tools. Here is a shortcut for each markup. You can set the layout. Volvicon supports a number of well-known file formats. You can see the volume for the volume data that a Volvicon can export, and you can also import a single image as a volume for analyzing the image. You can import mesh models and you can import the series of images you just have to select the folder that contains the image tag so let me import model let me adjust the window and level brightness and contrast let me set lookup table Let's go to slice features. You have flipping options. You have different options. Construct and slice as 3D surface. You can construct a triangular mesh surface out of this current slice that you can see. So let me create it. You see this is a surface model. You can link controls with other views. Let's link it. Now all views camera is linked. You can enable disable window leveling on mouse drag. Now if I hold left mouse button and drag, you don't see any change in it because the window level is disabled. If I enable it, you can change the window level. You have this interpolation for slices. You can toggle slice in 3D view. Let's toggle it. You see this. You have this voxel information on mouse move. So on mouse hovering, you see the voxel intensity and the voxel coordinates. You can enable disable scene annotation, color map. Scene origin axis, rule, distance ruler. You can enable crosshair. You can enable distance ruler. You can enable axis. Now let's move to volume module. You have these options for volume manipulations. You can change the blending option and you can set quality based on your graphic card capability. If you have high performing graphic card, you can set it maximum. So you, the volume data won't be resampled while interacting with the mouse. Transfer function, you can save this transfer function. These all settings will be saved in this project file as well. Lighting. You can enable disable 3D planes from here as well.
you can reconstruct surface model out of this volumetric model so this is a thresholding segmentation or reconstruction you could say extract it let me disable it let me delete just delete it you have this model you can crop this volumetric data okay, let me create a copy let's turn out this cropping go to tools and crop the data is crop you see this interaction you can interact in 3d and 2d or you can interact with these sliders so the volume view will have these options you can set stereo options if you have goggles you can enable deep filling if you are creating a plane over this volume you can enable disable uh, different features that are available in volume view you can also add a skybox if you have six images skybox images you can import as a skybox ruler the ruler is uh, only available in parallel projection so it automatically turn on the parallel projection if you are in perspective projection Okay, let me active original data and just delete this. Okay, now surface module. Let me go to surface. Again, you can change the update rate if you have a really huge mesh data the LOD will resample data while interacting with mouse so you can change the update rate to this renderer different features that you have you have to select meshes then you can change you can dissipate these meshes just make it 0.3 to preserve the features and it would be 0.9 see only a small number of triangles are removed you can undo it you have different forge features for surfaces and you different have filters and features for volumetric data low pass and high pass filter to smooth the data and to, to sharpen the edge thresholding and you can also reconstruct surface from here filter as well so if you have uh, finalize the window and level for this data you can apply the current window level to the original data and when you can when you export the data the data will have the current brightness and contrast that you have saved it has different uh, tools as well you can perform resampling let me resample this data let me create a copy and let me resample it 50% so the 50% data is resample and you can see the data size as well and memory usage as well it is helpful uh, if you have a really huge data I have imported a 45 gigabyte data and then you can resample those 50% and then you will have only 20 gigabyte of data 22.5 okay let me just delete this resample data let me perform transformation go to tools transformation and you have this interactive transformation turn it on and you have this transformation interface on slices you can reset it and if you want to move further on different slices you have to save it and then you can perform along other axis you have this basic transformation tools 
okay we have covered resampling surface transformation so surface transformation is is same go to tools transformation it has basic transformation features now let me explain the interactive transformation of surface let me disable it interactive transformation means you can transform this mesh model interactively and with limitations for example if you have limitations to rotate the surface model only 20 degree then you can specify the maximum limits and then you can interact with this model and interestingly you can view the same model in all views so let me I am not gonna share this mesh so let me share all with all views so now these meshes are shared in volume and slice fees so you can see here you can magnify this view you can make specify the magnify scale here okay let me transform select the mesh that you want to transform enable it you have this yellow box and now in which axis you want to translate and you specify the limits by middle mouse button I can transform it and you see the change in all views here And if I want to rotate it by left mouse button you can rotate it so it's helpful for aligning the mesh model with the surface model or with slices you can disable it now the mesh is transformed you can export the transform meshes when you are done you can unshared selected surfaces okay let me introduce markups you can create different landmarks while moving this landmark you see the slices center is updated so just disable it now it won't be updated you can turn these workups in all views you can have indicator you can track this indicator in all views now let me create a polyline you can step different features uh, of each markup in the markup module so I'm gonna click snap to edges and now I press new polyline now if you go here polyline and you see we have this area and if I want to extract this area because we have drawn in exil view so from exil view try to extract this area and you see we have extracted this area Okay, now let me close the whole project and import one model. So far segmentation, I'm going to explain this volume segmentation and reconstruct surface model out of it.
for this you have segmentation tool you need seed points so I'm gonna use fiducial create you can also create from here so you need it you need to enable this markup interaction updating it's helpful to see the other view slice while interaction you need couple of seed points where you want to have teaching growing algorithm and in the end set some parameters let me apply and you see we have segmented this part now apply low pass filter to remove high frequencies now let's go to surface reconstruction and you have this surface from this volume model you can save this entire project now I can reopen that project with the same setting now in the end we can export this mesh model you can import mesh model you see so what we can give you export of a slices tag as a video so you can export a slice tag as a video file you need to set the frame per second and slice planes and the file it supports mp4 and avi file you can also export a axial slice tag the original data slices and you can export all slices from all views you can also export volume data and it's most these volume data yeah that is I think I have covered most of the features and tools and please let me know if you have any question thank you very much see you in the next